Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fredwin, and welcome back to the episode of my full God of War Ragnarok playthrough. This is episode number 48. And in the last episode, we finished a pretty big part of the game and had something very, very awesome happen in a pretty cool boss fight as well. Uh, but today we're going to be jumping in right where we left off. But before we do that, uh, I think if I am correct, this video is going to go up on Christmas Day. So if you guys are, are or had an absolutely amazing day, got all of the presents that you wanted, so on and so on, uh, you know, and most importantly, spent time with the family, which is pretty one one of the biggest points of the whole holiday but hopefully you guys still had a great one nonetheless and maybe had some time to watch some god of a ragnarok but anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump back right into where we left off so let's go ahead and get into this all right so we are back now you guys might also be able to notice that some of the things may sound different i am back in my home setup for the next month so for the next 30 ish videos maybe more i'll be at my home setup so pretty cool there we require improvements. But we will go ahead and get right back into this because things are happening here in this game. So let's see how we can improve our spear a little bit. So we need a gale flame. Okay, good to know. It says we have something new, but I'm trying to figure out what that what that is. It doesn't really say. Oh, Okay, we can't upgrade this shield to level six. Sure, why not? I'll put some hurt on them. How about our armor? I'm more worried about our armor, to be honest. You make up your mind. Oh, we can't upgrade it. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. That should you get us to level five. So a paper cut yep. in that. Awesome. So that means we have better defense against level five enemies, which goes exactly with all of our other weapons. And we can't upgrade the Blade of Chaos either. Brother, okay. Before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Brock here. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I going to do? Walk around with a bandage on my head begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged more like it. All right. Brock still seems to be a little annoyed about what happened. But... I think... Can we actually talk to Atreus? I'm just going to keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Okay. Well, as I've said... Hold on. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat. Think about your breathing. Try and find stillness in your mind. No. <laughs> all right but as i said before i'm going to be streamlining streamlining the main story and then of course later on down the line we can do some of the other side quests which i do want to do but at least for now i want to try and get through this game as quick as possible hey wait we're with you Okay, let's see if Ratatoskr has anything to say. He might. Master Kratos, thank you for coming. Much to discuss. Okay. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neithog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Until our next encounter, then. All right. Do, do you not understand when the conversation is over? I, I just find Ratatoskr to be such an interesting character. I always like hearing what he has to say. But I think we're going to be heading back to Vanaheim, I believe. So... 
yeah, let's do this. We travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Frey to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Okay. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day Ooh, the lion gets left. to see a new realm. Yeah, it's not that I want to streamline this game and get it done as fast as possible for a bad Freya's reason camping. or that I'm not enjoying it. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Okay. It's just that... Wait, hold on. I have to go back. Just that I want to try and get this game done by the end of January. Uh, because we have a new release coming out at that point and doing two videos a day is definitely a lot so um, but again if we happen to finish this game before before the next game comes out we can absolutely spend more time here so definitely we'll plan on doing that what uh hello um <clears throat> For some reason, I can't use any of my weapons. Let's see if maybe a cutscene will fix that. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Vanaheim lullaby. I bless the rains of Vanaheim. Words from a traditional Vanaheim song. Uh, in Greece, the rain served as a reminder to worship the gods. Do the people of these lands worship the rain alongside their gods? Yeah, I still can't use my weapons. Okay. If this doesn't work, we'll go ahead and... Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. 
My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Huh. Interesting. A Hild Hildis Vini. Uh, when we first met Freya as the Witch of the Woods, we had wounded her magical boar and helped her to heal him. Now we have met him restored to his human form, a trusted counselor to Freya and Freyr. He appears to hold no grudge against Atreus and I, but his rivalry with Mimir seems long and bitter. Okay, and I still can't switch weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the game, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. So we are back, and I did reset the game, but my weapons are still not available to me. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this isn't a permanent thing. She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainherjar. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. There we go. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. Okay, well, let's go over here first. See if there's anything back here for us. Nope. Nope, we already got that chest. Sweet. Find Skull and Hati. All right. This should be interesting. That was weird. I wonder why my weapons. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual miscommunication, conflicting <laughs> loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good, but so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> I see you up there. Nice. I really do like this spear. It feels so much more accurate than the axe, at least as far as long range attacks go. Ooh, okay, this is where he. Only you again. We haven't fought one of you in a long time. Okay, we're getting... Nice. I forgot we had that new attack. Okay, we have to try and get these whips out, whips out of the way. Because these things are very, very annoying. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, nice try. Okay. You have to get these out of the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? We killed that thing. Interesting. Anaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartalfon. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. He grows. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. That's funny. I was just gonna say that it was humid. 
Oh, what the heck? I didn't notice that. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a way to that. I don't know if this has been here the whole time or not, but... Hmm, not sure how, how I would get up there, but let's look. Let's keep looking around. Find the notion! It's making this thing stronger! There you are. I see ya. Oh, look out. Again. Oh, there's another one over here. Look out. Nice. Ooh, I, see, I think I see how we get to that. How we get to that chest? This way. I think. Yes. Nice. Now, considering that this was unavailable to Don't us until we got the spear. Huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Hmm. Has Rock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Hulda brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh. Oh. Another... Ooh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll give this one a go. Why not? The legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? Nice. Here we go. Well, I'm definitely excited to give this attack a go. Yeah, if you guys remember back from quite a few episodes ago, this was one of my more favorite areas in the whole game. I really, really enjoyed this area, so definitely excited to see to be back you know, in this place and see what happens this next. This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. <laughs> Vini said both Frey and Vigvir were captured. Vigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. I see you. Well, that was rude. Stronger! 
Oh god. Excuse me. That was not cool. Pretty cool ability. Oh, come here. Sweet. All of that for just this. Not sure if that was worth it, but... Taking all that damage for resources, but... I mean, we did get quite a few... Quite a bit of good things there. So, I mean, as Guardian Inga and Dwarven Steel are used to upgrade a lot of armor pieces, so I guess it wasn't too bad. Ooh, another scroll. Scholarly. Uh, should be here, right? Dear Overseer, climbing the ladder. Hmm. Have we read this one? I don't think so. You... I don't. I don't know. You probably did read that one. Ooh. Okay. So. Nice. Oh, one of you? <laughs> that guy stood no chance. He didn't even get one hit on us. Let's freaking go. Come here. You once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold. Wow. <gasps> Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the angry Odin stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to look for the rest of these. But I don't see them very well i mean that one was very easy to find but we still have two of the two that were missing hmm. all right i think it's fine there's no way for us to get health for a while anyway so but yeah again i have no idea where we are in this game i can sense them up there it's got to be As far as excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. But Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, 
Guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. Hmm. Recover the stolen moon. Okay, I guess we're actually doing this. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skolanati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. Besides Hilda's Feeney and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, much walk in the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, I think we should be safe right here. Which we are. Oh wait, I forgot. I can do this. And it lasts for a really long time. Not that we actually need to do that, but... I'm ready. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? Oh, let's go. That was awesome. See you later. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Okay. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. I'm the enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. So this one can teleport. Oh. <gasps> But I can't read what this says? Oh, I can. Hmm. Fitting. Verdant. The Vanier acknowledge the... Uh, the Vanier acknowledge the abundance of their realm, but they need... But the need to write it down is redundant. The beauty of Vanaheim speaks for itself. Survive the warfare, find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. 